The objective today is to find 1, 10, and 100,000 more and less than a given number. Let's look at this problem. 10,000 more than 206,252 is. We'll go ahead and have a place value chart where I have already labeled it for you to find, in this case, this will be a sum because we're talking about 10,000 more. So it says 206,000. So in this case, we will go ahead and place 200,000 there. Then we have, it says 206,000. So we'll place those six in the what place? Hopefully you stated in the thousands place. Therefore, we have 206,000 just like is asked here. And then so as we continue to model that, we have 252. That's two hundreds, five tens, and how many ones? Two ones. So what I did first to be able to solve this again is to model 206,252 in my place value chart. In this case, I am having 10,000 more. So this is going to be the sum of what I have in my chart and 10,000 more. 10,000 more, it looks like in that case then that I will go ahead and place a place value disk for the 10,000 more. After doing that, I'm going to go ahead and write the digits right underneath our place value chart. So we have 200 thousands, we have one ten thousand, we have six thousands, two hundreds, five tens, and two ones. I'll write that number on the line, two one six, two five two, place my comma, and then I can read that number. Two hundred sixteen thousand two hundred fifty two. Let's read this whole sentence. Ten thousand more than two hundred six thousand two hundred fifty two is two hundred sixteen thousand two hundred fifty two. Here is another problem. One hundred thousand less than and then we have this number here that is within expanded form. What we'll do is that we will model this number right here within our place value chart first with three disks in the hundred thousands place, 20,000, that is two ten thousands. We have 800, which will place eight disks into the hundreds place. And then where do we place the other disks? Right in the tens place, and how many do we have to place? Five. So we have modeled this number right here. The number that we just modeled is three, two, zero, eight, five, zero, or 320,850. But here we are going 100,000 less than that there, meaning that we would have one fewer than 300,000. So, so instead of having a 3 there, we actually have 200,000 there. So the number that we have then is 220850, and we'll place our comma, so that's 220,850. That was 100,000 less than that number in expanded form. Okay, it's your turn to try. Let's go for this problem here. That We have 10,000 more than 12,708. Draw yourself a place value chart. 
and model that number. Pause that video. I'm modeling that number. Eight ones. Is that what you did when you were modeling that number? Next we can look at, it says 10,000 more, meaning that we are going for a sum here. We are actually going for a sum, which for our number sentence would actually be 10,000 plus 12,708. To model that within our chart, 10,000 more, we will add another disk in the 10,000s place. So our number there within standard form would be 2, 2, 7, 0, 8. We'll go ahead and write that on the line, placing your comma where it needs to go. And then so for our number sentence, we actually have 10,000 plus 12,708 equaling 22,708. Let's read this together. 10,000 more than 12,708 is 22,708. The largest unit within this number was the 1, which was the 10,000s place, and that did change in this case to a 2 because we were going 10,000 more, which was going to be 1 10,000 more within our number. Here we're asked to complete the following equations. Let's work on one problem at a time. We'll start with that first problem where we're asked, it says 10,000 plus 24,169. What we're asked actually then is that we're asked to find 10,000 more than this number right here. We're asked in this case to find a sum, which is the answer to an addition problem. We'll set up our place value chart and then we'll go ahead and label it, making sure that we have five places. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Let's place our disks into the chart there. We'll start with modeling this number here, 24,169. How many tens are there? Six, and how many ones? Right, there's nine ones within that number. And I actually need one more 10,000 disks here. Otherwise, I would not have modeled my first number, 24,169, correctly. I'm now looking for 10,000 more than this number. And then so what I will do is I'm going to place one more disk. In what place? Right, in the 10,000s place. Underneath this, I will write the digits by counting up the number of disks within each of those places. So I have six unit disks there, and I have nine ones. So I have the number 34169, placing our comma appropriately. I can read this number sentence as 10,000 plus 24,169 equals 34,169. This plus 10,000 is just 10,000 more than this number. 10,000 more than 24,169 is 34,169. Okay, it's your turn to go ahead and work. Go ahead and work on the second problem here. This one right here. Make sure to use a place value chart. Go ahead and pause the video while you do your work. Here I'm finishing labeling my place value chart, or I have that labeled there. Looking at these two here, it looks like I'm taking this number here and subtracting 100,000 from it, or I'm trying to figure out what number is 100,000 less than this first number. So I will model that number, the 1, 6 ten thousands, 9 thousands, Hopefully you've modeled this number correctly. I have finished modeling that number. That's 169,208. It says to go ahead and subtract 
100,000, which actually means that I would subtract 100,000. It'd be 100,000 less. So this number here, there's zero if in the 100,000th place, so I do not write a digit there because it's the first or the largest unit within that number. I am left with six ten thousands, nine with four thousands, two hundreds, zero tens, and eight ones. And so that's the number that you should have written on the line, six, nine, two, zero, eight, placing your comma appropriately. Let's read this number sentence together. 169,208 minus 100,000 equals 69,208. That is 100,000 less than 169,208. For the final problem, let's take a look here. We have it written a little differently. It says 37,208. We have 38,208 minus something here. So we can model this. And in modeling it, let's take a look. It's 37,208. Let's model that first and let's see what it is that we would be doing and thinking of our place value chart in the process. So we have the number three, seven disks in the thousands place, four, five, six, seven. We have two in the hundreds place, zero in the tens place, and eight ones. So we have that number three, seven, two, zero, eight. And yet, it says 38208. How would we model 38208? Yeah, we would have to add one more digit right there for 38208. So what changed with our place value chart? It was this that changed right here, where it is that we put one more thousand there to be able to get our number over to 38208. So if it's 38208, we're subtracting what to be able to get to 37208? So if we had 38208, which we do have in our chart right here, what would we have to take away? Right, we'd have to take away that one we just added. So we're taking away what? One of those units, which is worth 1,000. So this is our number sentence there. Go ahead and read it. 37,208 equals 38,208 minus 1,000. So in the lesson today, we learned about sums and adding 10,000s or 1,000s or even 100,000s. We also learned about subtracting as well, where it is that we're finding 1,000 or 10,000 or even 100,000 less than a number. And we were using place value charts to help us think these sums and differences and thinking about these numbers a little bit more.